Welcome to Centauri Stirfry. Stirfry here. Alright, happy Halloween. First of all, this is the month. This is the month where all the crazy, kooky houses get decorated. There's skulls and bones everywhere. Zombies. Clowns. There's an influx of clowns. Yep. Everyone wants to dress like a clown and creep us out. Well, as far as, you know, horror movies go, there's all kinds of great ones. There's Freddy. We got Jason. Pumpkinhead? No one remembers pumpkin heads, but uh, we do. Uh, but if you ask me, one of my favorites is Hellraiser. I love Hellraiser one and two and three. I can kind of take it or leave it. It's it's got some pretty gory crap in it, but I like one and two. It's just very uh, just very creepy. The effects are awesome, especially in one. Very just crazy awesome for the time and the budget. I'm sure they had. Um, it's one of my favorites. It's great. And the Cenobites, of course, are the best part of it all. Um, these are some crazy, demonic, s &M, crazy little, I don't know what they are. I haven't ever, I've never read the books, so I'm just a fan of the movies, so, and so is my wife, so we had to get this. Um, here it is, this is the, the Pinhead Premium Format. I believe it's the first one, positive. Um, this is the exclusive version that comes with this, uh, the solved puzzle box there, which makes sense to me. I mean, it's not a deal breaker. It comes with the unsolved box as well, and they just pluck out and kind of squish in there. Really nothing too fancy. Um, but man, this is a really cool beast. It's very, very cool. Um, a lot of the things that I just never noticed before um, until I got this. Um, like the back. He's got these fish hooks in the back of his head. I just never caught it. Never caught that in the movie before, but very nasty. Looks very painful. Um, and the base is also uh, unsolved. Or I mean, sorry, the solved puzzle box, like platform. It's very heavy. Um, this came out around the time, uh, maybe like the Daredevil PF did, which I thought the Daredevil PF was a really high quality piece for what it was, and so was this. Very, very sturdy. The figure is thick and it's solid, and right after like a downturn of crappy statues, like the Man of Steel statue, or um, some of those Hulk PFs, and just a lot of bad statues a couple years in a row. And I, I felt like I started to pick up a little bit with uh, Daredevil in this one. I got them about the same time back to back, so. This is a really cool piece. We're gonna take a look at it here in just a second, real close up. Um, but yeah, just uh, it's Halloween, man. Let's let's uh, let's enjoy it. Let's have some fun. Yeah. Ah, it's to uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, that's for her. All right, let's take a look at it. Okay, there he is. Look pretty sweet. Uh, you guys have to tell me if it's if that portrait's movie accurate. To me, it looks like it is. All those little lines there. I don't know if you guys remember the transformation where they're just ripping the skull apart and stabbing those nails in there. Pretty gruesome. Pretty gruesome. Like the detail in the, in the little jacket there is great. And the, man, there's, if you can see all the, it's pretty well sculpted and painted in there, that blood. I think it's coming off a little shiny, but there are like little different textures of red. Kind of showing like a muscle, exposed muscle. Kind of hard to see. All those little hooks there coming down, pulling his flaps down. Those are all metal. Really well done. I gotta back off just a little. There you go. Skin texture is really nice. It's a very uh, uncomfortable looking piece. That navel thing right there. I don't know. Anybody ever shoved their finger in your navel? In your navel? Just pokes you right in there. It hurts. It freaking hurts. I do not like that. That's what this is just making me very uncomfortable looking at this piece. I like to enjoy this from afar, mainly because of that navel right there. Man, it's got me uncomfortable. Stay away from my navel. Let's go back up to the head just real quick. scalp back the sculpt there and those little metal hooks and they're like free standing here and kind of wiggle them a little bit it's just nasty really nice work though the head comes off and it was like shipped in like a little ball like a plastic ball to protect it and you just gotta apply those little push hooks yourself so if you're into that kind of stuff I guess it's kind of uh I don't know be an enjoyable statue for you. Let's see if you can back around so you can see that hand. I think they did a really good job on the hand. There you go. 
really nice veins there and his fingers and nails are just nasty. Like I said, this is a really high quality skirt. It's very thick. It's very long. Comes down. If I can get underneath it, it's very hard to see, but uh, barely see it there. But it's all completely sculpted out of there, his whole bodysuit in there. And then there's the solved puzzle box base, which looks like I haven't dusted it in a while, but actually, I think it actually came like that. It's very, very dirty looking. It's a very solid base, too. I was surprised how heavy that was, just, you know, for what it looks like. All right, zipping back around here, take a look at this box. There you go. Pretty good detail in that little box. I think it's just a little piece of plastic, but I think they did pretty good. And look at those fingernails. Those are gross fingernails. I mean, those are the kind of fingers you do not want to see at, like, a Taco Bell. You know, like the guy behind the counter putting your taco together. Ugh. Run for it. Turn around and run. Not that it matters. I mean, you know, clean hands or not, you're going to the bathroom 30 minutes after. Alright, let's back up here. It's blurry. Let's back. Anyway, overall, a really nice piece. I think it's pretty cool. If you're a fan of it, I think it's actually relatively cheap. I'll spin them around. If you're a fan of Hellraiser, I mean, overall, I think it's pretty affordable still to this day. Uh, nothing crazy. I think he's a little bit small. Uh, you know, I've heard complaints as far as a quarter scale goes. He's actually undersized, just a hair. But I think the total height is probably around 19 inches. Because that uh, puzzle box base there is about a, I don't know, about an inch, a little over, inch and eighth. So he's about 19, about 18, which is pretty normal for a four, quarter scale, but he just seems a tad underscaled, so that could be an issue for some people. Um, if anything, I really hope that they make the remaining Cenobites. We need, what is his name, Butterball, Chatterbox, and the, the Hot Cenobite. That was a look at the Hellraiser Pinhead Premium Format. Have a happy Halloween. There probably do a couple more monsters in there before it, before it hits. Just remember, uh, do not accept candy from strangers. Always check your candy. Look both ways before crossing the street. And spade new your pets. And Magnus ride. Have a nice, happy Halloween. Thanks.